Hello, and I'd like to welcome you to today's video. And in today's video, I just want to do something a bit fun, really. It, it doesn't always have to be educational or academic. It, it doesn't have to be uh, box openings. Sometimes it's nice to just put out content that is fun, free to put out, and something a bit different, you know. And this video has actually been inspired by my latest subscriber, so number 189. Let's all give a round of applause to uh, Seb. So I I really like this guy. He, uh, for any of you that don't know him, he actually writes books. He, he's German, he's got his own channel called Coinacer, uh, Munzen and Ida Metal. Unfortunately, it's in German. I'm using it as a point of reference to learn some uh, specific coin termage in German. Not many people could understand it in English. Some of you actually subscribed to his channel, as I recently found out. But yeah, thumbs up to him. And I hope that people enjoy this as much as I do. So the coins I got in are actually coins from the order where I bought in over 800 coins from my supplier. He had them all in bags and he said to me, he was just like, there may be some coins in there that are not as described. I was like, okay. And it just turns out there was actually quite a lot in there. He, he laughed. He said to me, he's like, I'm actually shocked that there's a... There's less in there than I thought because we go for a lot of coins and sometimes we just mix it up. So this was one of the coins. This was actually the largest coin. I'm actually a bit bummed it wasn't a tailor because that a tailor that would have been a nice ad considering I bought this for spot. So yeah, Republic Österreich, fünfzig Schilling. I think fünfzig is uh, fifty. Fünf is five. Fünfzig. Yeah, it makes sense because they've got a hundred. A hundred shilling coin as well. I don't know anything about this gentleman. I don't know anything about this coin. I just know it's nice and chunky. It's a nice coin in hand. So that was number one. You know what? I'll just I'll get them out. Let's go back a bit. There we go. Get that out of the way. Fünf Schilling. Republic Österreich. Never been to Austria. One of my friend's brothers lived in Austria. He, he had good things to say about it, but it didn't interest me. I, I really like Germany, but Austria, I don't know, it just seems a bit of a weird choice for me to go. I believe by the crest that this is Hungary. 1871. Oh, Austria Hungary could be due to Joseph. This is old. This is nice. It's a nice coin. I think that is Hungary because I believe I've seen that on the football badge. Hungary, winners of two World Cups, for those of you that didn't know. Probably possessed some of the greatest teams ever known. I think Hungary humbled England 6 1. It was the first time we lost at home to someone outside of Scotland, I think. It's nice, nice coin. I'm gonna keep these coins by the way, I'm not, I don't really like having singles for sale, you know, it's it's tedious. I like to bundle my coins up. I'll do it at the moment, I may have to change that with a new business. Lira, 500 Lira. I guess in the R is the mint mark. This is nice, this, this, is, this reminds me of the uh, Portuguese currency coins because they have a lot of ship motifs I guess and this is the different I'm not sure if it's states principalities counties I, I don't know what they're called in in Italy I've never been to Italy actually it's it's one of the countries that I've always wanted to go but I've never really gone <laughs> you know to put it simply I just never went <laughs> I'm sure I can sort it out Portugal real money look at that that's nice look at the shimmer Oh, that's very similar to, very similar to this one. Look at the hat. 1960. Similar year. There's two here that are not coins, so these are tokens. I got told that these are 0 0.9 and they come from tourist attractions. I presume Greece, this looks very Greek. In style. 
could be wrong. If anyone knows more about these, so Glenn, if you're watching, you might know about these. I I certainly Santa Saint Mary in there. Yeah, I, I don't know too much about these. They're very similar. Same size, pretty much the same. So yeah, I, I don't know. I I would hazard a guess and say they're Greek. But I don't know. I've been told they're 0 0.9. I'm going to keep them. They look nice. They're probably gaming tokens or something like that. So it's got small coins. This is one of my favourites. Really like this. Really, really like this. It's got the... I'm going to say this is South American because most of the South American have the the weight on. South American? No, it's Cuban. Okay. Speaking of Cuba, I've just ordered some cigars. They're not Cuban cigars, but it just reminded me of that. Partial to an odd cigar. I bought them in because it's my birthday coming up next month. What else we got? Let's have a look at these. These are Canadian. I guess these would be coal coins, wouldn't they? It's quite it's something quite romantic about coins like these. Like, you know, it's they've they've been loved, they've been used, they've passed through so many hands. Couldn't tell you the years on them. I oh, probably could, like, you could probably get some scientific measurements to carbon date, or, or I don't know, something like that. Can you carbon date silver? I, I guess there's some form of uh, identification. They're nice. Canada. This one is Australian. This one's really nice. Thumbs up to Australia for making this. What a nice crest that is. It looks fantastic in silver. One shilling. Again, this side's a bit loved. These are English. Shilling. As some of you saw, I recently got more of these in. I think that these are 92.5 miles sterling. No collector's value, but again, I think there's certainly money to be made if you price it in between bullion and spot. I think people will buy it in bulk. I genuinely think that that's what I'm basing my business on anyway. Sixpence, 1921. Nice coin. You know, nice date filler, that. I've seen this a lot, and I don't know what it is. Three holes. I'm, I'm guessing it's some form of jewellery. It's a real shame because it's actually a nice coin. You know, it's not too beat up. The, the design is still quite striking. Okay, it's worn around the acorns. I love acorns. You know, it reminds me of my childhood. I used to be in a class called Oak. Fuckens, 1937. That's nice. I'm guessing that's a homage to... Uh, the Tudors, the Rose, Tudor Rose. Very nice. Last but not least, I have to look at this myself. Right? Let's have a look. and a half grams, two and a half grams. Forty two. It's got to be nineteen forty two. It's not there, but it's, it's got to be nineteen forty two. It's not going to be eighteen forty two. I'd be very shocked if it was. Dominica. 
I don't know. I, I don't actually know. Again, I'd hazard a guess and say South American because it's got grams. Or that was wrong on the Cuban. Gramos. It's quite charming, really, isn't it? It's pretty much worn down. Libertad? Oh, it could be anyone because it's clearly uh, Spanish and all the South American countries and a lot of the Central American speak Spanish. There's an interesting story of why the Brazilians speak Portuguese and when it came to conquest the Spanish tried to rule over all and the Portuguese tried to trade and it was pretty much the Brazilians sticking their middle finger up at the Spanish. That's why they adopted Portuguese. Also, the history books have led me to believe. Could be wrong. You know, the winners write history. I like that. That's a nice coin, you know. That's a very nice coin. So, yeah. Just saying a bit of fun. A bit different. Tell me what you guys think. You know, it's it's always nice to hear. Tell me what your favourite is. I'm going to say my favourite is this one. This guy appears on a lot though, so he's on the uh, Ducat, Ducat, depending on how you pronounce it. He's on the 10, he's on the Florin coins, Florin Frank coins. I think he, he's got some some resemblance to the Archbishop Franz Ferdinand. Archbishop? Duke. Franz Ferdinand. I'm not sure if he's not Archbishop. The, he was the man who got assassinated that pretty much started World War One. I. I think he is some connection. I'd have to check though. I think he's related in some way. I remember reading something somewhere about that. Could be completely wrong, you know. I don't tend to research into the historical sides of things. Where, where do you stop? You know, I get coins in from all over the world and as much as it's nice, it's usually a case of coins in, coins out. So. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. Like, if you like it, like, subscribe, do your thing, you know. I will be putting out Another video later, I'm going to do a die of a coin dealer type video. Uh, there's a few things I want to I want to address, I want to share, you know, it's, so it's all good. Anyway, take care peeps, bye.